Hello guys, um, I'm here to explain every single Reinhardt matchup and how to win every single one of them since a lot of you have been asking questions or struggling with specific heroes. So I will cover every single OS hero in the game right now against Reinhardt and you're going to win every single matchup now because Reinhardt is the best and everyone else sucks. So let's start with the uh, tank characters. Diva is one of the more annoying heroes in the game because he can just ignore you, kill backline or shoot you but the thing is like if you play aggressive, hold point, go on backline, trade backline, shoot the Diva when she fits. Like Reinhardt beats Diva almost every single time, so I'm gonna like give you very big advice how to beat her every single time. When when you walk up to Diva, you just start swinging her. Pay attention to the audio cues, and when you see her shoot the helix rocket, you put your shield up to block the burst damage away. Very good for avoiding extra damage you take from Diva. Also, when you play against Diva as Reinhardt, you need to make sure you kill the baby Diva when she has mech. Like Diva is gonna be playing aggressive, and it's very hard in OS2 to kill the baby Diva before she max. So you have to make sure you're the guy who kills the baby. Boom, dead. And there's multiple ways to do this, and I'll show you one of my favorites. There's multiple ways to get Diva out of mech, but my personal favorite is to shatter how to make animation to meet the desperation you feel when she goes on your backline, like this. Set her out of mech, she has no call to mech, and then you swing her like this and you let her know who's the boss. Just make sure you don't you do not fuck up the setter so you don't look like an absolute bozo and embarrass yourself in front of the whole Reinhardt community. You did 50 damage, she walks away and then she kills you and there's nothing you can do because pure embarrassment. That's pretty much how you win against Diva. Make sure you kill her when she's out of mech. Make sure you go aggressive and when she's flying on your backline and swing on her if she's feeding. It's a pretty easy matchup and that's how you win the 1v1 against Diva in the game every single time. When you play against Zarya, she's a very strong hero like the entire team, top 10 is full of Zaryas as you can see here. So make sure when you walk up to her at the start of the fight, do not give her energy. You can walk up to Zarya, swing her once, bait bubble, then you hold shield, then you swing on her again, swing, swing, she bubbles again, and then after that she has no bubbles and you can completely destroy her. Just make sure you do not give her free energy at the start of the fight or it's an absolute disaster. Just make sure when you have Satter, because Satter looks extremely juicy to Satter, make sure that she has used both bubbles or this is going to happen to you. You're gonna Satter and look like a Balbazu. There is a way around this. When, you, when you're playing against Zarya, a lot of people don't know this, you walk up to the Zarya and you can break her bubble by clicking Satter very close to her. There is a 250 HP damage area, breaks the bubble, and then you have a free pin and you can pin her off the map for example. The most important thing you can do against Saria is to play aggressive, bait the bubbles, and when you have Satter, go very close to her and hit the Satter on her. And that is a very very easy way, you cross Saria by playing aggressive and taking all the aggro of enemy team, just remember Aggression, no free energy, and you're going to win every game against Zarya. There's uh, one thing I, you want to know about Satter. Against Zarya Graph, you can get out of the Graph by using Earth Satter and hit some cool techs. Sigma is uh, one of the easiest heroes in the matchup in the whole game. Like He only has um, one ability called the Rock, and he rocks you and stuns you. And it's kind of annoying, but there's a very easy way around this. And so the Rock is the only ability on Sigma, so you don't walk up to Sigma, you want to swing on him. And look at him really closely, and when you see him channel it, you put up your shield, you block the rock, you keep swinging, and there is nothing Sigma can do, you just kill him. Overall, Sigma is like probably the most easiest matchup, in my opinion, as the tanks, and you just want to block the rock, walk into him, play aggressive, and you're gonna win every single game against Sigma. Roadhog is a sneaky little guy, well, he's a big guy, but like the thing about Roadhog is you want to walk aggressive into him, and keep in mind, he does a lot of damage to your shield, and it can be very annoying when he's breaking your shield. might seem a lot when Roadhog just breaks your shield and you can't do anything and he hooks you but I have a very easy way to show how to bait hook on a Roadhog that's gonna work most of the time against almost any sort of skill level player. When he's shooting your shield you wanna drop your shield really quickly and then put it back up and the Roadhog is gonna try to hook you because he's looking at the shield drop animation. So you wanna bait his hook and then put shield up and then he has no hook and then you're free to smack on him and hit him and when he uses vape, you can just spin the roadhog and he can't hook you. 
thing about Roadhog is that you always just play aggressive against him, do what I do, don't let your shield get broken, bait the hook, keep swinging, and when you see him go for the vape, you try to hit the pin on him. It might be a bit hard, but you can hit him because his hitbox is huge. Roadhog cooldown is very annoying, he's just gonna whole hug you, and it feels like you can't do anything, and you're just going to die to the whole hug. Like you hold shield, he insta break shield, you're in a corner, and boom, you're dead. Try to save your Earth Shatter for whole hug, because it's an easy trade and easy pin off the map on a map like Eichenwald. Just when, he, when he goes for the whole hug, you use shield, you drop the shatter, and then you pin the roadhog off the map. You can take him with you, because why not? That's what the charge do. Wrecking Ball is a character that you cannot do anything to. You want to smack him a little bit when he walks up to you, but most of the time you just want to ignore the Wrecking Ball. It's just going to be doing random stuff, rolling around, being useless. So just make sure you do not focus the ball, go for the rest of the players, and let the ball do ball things. To recap, just ignore ball, kill everyone else, nothing you can do to serious. Sometimes you can drop a earth center on him and pin him off the map, but uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Doomfist can be a very annoying character because he's punching around, jumping around, being a menace on your backline. But the thing about Doom is, when you're fighting the Doomfist, you just want to swing on the Doomfist. And just keep swinging and being annoying. At some point, he's gonna use power block. And when he uses power block, you pin and kill him. That is the most important thing about Doomfist that I recommend do not counter pin the punch that is very hard to hit just wait until he power blocks and it's a free pin every single time. There's also you can hit a free earth shatter on the doom when he's using power block. He cannot get away and he's stable and you shatter him and you kill him. If you want even a secure pin then uh, pinning randomly just to shatter the power block. And make sure when Doomfist uses his ult you're holding shield and make sure you shield the Doom ult and then you can pin the Doomfist after the ult for a free pin shutter kill. Overall, Doomfist is a character that is very annoying but if it's just a skill matchup, if the Doom is a good player it might be hard but you just pin the power block out of the power block and just look for pins all the time on Doomfist and you should be able to win every single Doom match quite easily. And if you're extra struggling, ask your teammates to go Sombra and hack him. Smiley face. Junker Queen is uh, just a verse Roadhog right now, I don't think she's in a very strong state. She's like a brawler, she's designed to be a Reinhardt, she's a verse Roadhog, verse Reinhardt. So the thing you want to do against Junker Queen is you just want to trade her very aggressively. When you want to trade Junker Queen, you just want to walk on the Junker Queen and just keep swinging on her. Just keep swinging, she has abilities, doesn't matter, you have hammer, she's going to lose the trade. I don't even use Fire Strike, Junker Queen cannot win. Reinhardt, better hero than Junker Queen, so make sure you trade the Junker Queen as much as you humanly can. Junker Queen ult is very interesting because you have very very nice to cancel her. You can use your Earth Shatter or pin. When she uses her ult, you can just pin her out of her ult and she doesn't hit your team and you just get her out of her ult. You can also cancel her when she uses her ult. You can also Earth Shatter her out of ult. And then you pin her off the map and then you go. Free kill. Junker Queen overall is a very easy matchup and if you want to be really really smart and an insane player, you want to shatter her out of ult and pin her out of ult. Just make sure you look out. When she peeks a corner and goes in the open, that's when you can cancel her the best. Winston is a character that when you fight him 1v1, he has absolutely no way to win. Like you absolutely destroy Winston in a 1v1. So try to focus Winston when you can before he jumps in. It's very important to focus Winston before he jumps in, because if you wait for him to jump in, he's going to kill your backline. So make sure you force a fight against Winston before he has committed on your backline. That is the best way. To make a Winston player suffer and make him feel like he cannot do much. It is also important to remember against Monkey, you destroy the heroes. The Monkey is probably gonna try to ignore you. If he's a smart guy, he's playing Monkey, so he might not be that smart. But just ignore Winston and kill his backline. Like if Monkey jumps in, their backline is free. But if for an example, if they're playing Lucio Moira or Lucio Kiriko, they don't have a backline. So you need to try to peel them and just swing on everyone who dives your backline. Just make sure you're always swinging until you're low HP and then put shield up when you're low. Because you have to do damage against Winston and that is the only way to win. Or move point. Orisa is one of the most fundamentally annoying heroes for Reinhardt. Because you don't really have counterplay to her abilities. You can't react to Javelin. You can't do anything against the spinny move. You can't do anything against Fortify. So it just makes the game 4v4. But what I want you guys to remember is that if the Orisa uses every single cooldown on you, that means your DPS are free the entire game. So how to win against Orisa is... You let her use every cooldown on you and still try to be effective after that, ignoring her the best you can. Just ignore the Orisa to your best of capabilities and that's how you win against Orisa. If Orisa catches you in the Orisa turn, there is no really exit for you. Like you can try to kite, you can hold shield, but when you try to fight back, she just bears you, then she fortifies, you can click shield, you can try to do anything, then she ults you in, you take damage from the ult. 
you keep holding shield, you swing, there is just, you cannot win. Just remember, if Orisa is focusing you and you're still doing things, you're winning the game. Just stay strong against Orisa, I feel your pain, I have been there. But if she focuses you, the game is 4v4 or 5v4 because she's still a better character. Just stay strong, ignore Orisa, go for everyone else, easy matchup, easy top, go next. Most iconic matchup of the tank hard is Reinhardt versus Reinhardt. Like this is, the, this is one of the funniest matchups in the game, one of the most enjoyable ones. But in Overwatch 2 it's a bit different. Focusing Reinhardt only is usually a bad idea. You wanna ignore the tank and go for the squishies. But as a Rein 1v1 I can show you some techniques how you can win the 1v1 better than the enemy Reinhardt. Reinhardt 1v1 is one of the more fun and iconic matchups in the game. But in Overwatch 2 it's a bit different but using this technique you can win the 1v1 very easily against the Reinhardt. You swing, swing, fire strike, swing, swing, fire strike, then you just keep swinging. And the enemy Reinhardt cannot win. Because you hit the fire strikes and he was just swinging. So that is how you optimize DPS, just go swing, fire strike, swing, fire strike on the enemy tank. And optimal way to do DPS is that way. There's one thing you can utilize in a tank mirror against Reinhardt especially, but works against every tank. Is when you have pin and you know you can pin someone off the map, like pin cancel is incredibly strong technique. So when you walk behind a corner, like I can walk burst point here, enemy tank is gonna come swinging at you. You just pin and you get him off the map and you have instantly killed the enemy tank. Especially kill against Reinhardt. Just use pin cancel to throw the enemy Reinhardt off the map a lot of times. Cause even if you missed it, you just cancel pin and it's no big deal. When you're in a ult fight against Reinhardt, it's very important to try to bait it and block it. Like when the enemy Reinhardt uses shatter, you just hold shield and you block the shatter, just like that. When you're playing against the Reinhardt, you like it's your job to know he has shatter. Like you just have to play the game and like remember what time he gets shattered and shatters you and when you've gotten used to this technique you go to enemy Reinhardt and just make sure for an example you don't just hold shield and then fire strike the Reinhardt then that's you're gonna get shattered. You have to keep in mind when the enemy has shattered and like don't fire strike in front of him. But there's ways to bait the enemy Reinhardt to thinking you're a noob and uh, then make you make him the noob. Like for an example there, when I was uh, fire striking, we can change the technique by holding shield, drop shield for a second, and then put shield back up. Like some Reinhards are just looking for a fire strike, and as soon as they see the animation change, you drop shield for like a second, then you put shield up, and a lot of times you can bait the shatter. Because people are keeping their trigger on the shatter when they see animation change. When you have shatter and you see enemy Reinhardt holding shield, you wanna walk up to the enemy Reinhardt once, you wanna swing to the side one time, you wanna walk, you wanna jump past him and then you can shatter him and get a free kill and a free pin. Just make your you smack him once, then jump, then turn, shatter me there and hit the shatter on him. Reinhardt is all about being aggressive, being the adversary and baiting cooldowns. Like when baiting enemy Reinhardt, pinning him off the map, making aggressive move, that's how you win the Reinhardt 1v1 every single time. As you become the Yika Chad Reinhardt compared to the not Yika Chad Reinhardt. That's how you become Reinhardt 1v1 king. Overall, Reinhardt versus tanks is all about being aggressive, being the aggressor, making plays with pin, never AFKing. If dive tank goes on enemy pure backline, you go on enemy backline. If you can shoot the dive tank before the dive, it's very good. Against the Roadhog and Orisa, you'd kind of ignore them and kill everyone else, and Reinhardt, you just kick a chat on them. So that's how tanks work. So let's move on to DPS next, and I'm gonna tell you how to beat every single DPS to a pummel.